Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And I, I hope this video finds everyone doing well and in good spirits. Okay guys, let me tell you what I will be sharing with you guys this morning. Uh, first of all, it is a well-requested uh, video and uh, a recipe or whatever you want to call it. And uh, I was going to do it yesterday, I mean last year. But my spirit just was not in it with everything going on like it was. And this cake is, is supposed to be such a happy cake, a spirited cake. That um, when I was growing up, it was only fixed like once a year at Christmas time. Now somebody else may might have fixed it other times, whatever. But I know my mama always uh, prepared them at Christmas time. And she always did too. And the... Uh, children couldn't have any of, any of it. This cake is a old-fashioned southern lane cake. Okay, I know a lot of you guys know about the lane cake. It's a, it's just like uh, back when I was growing up in the uh, uh, 50s and 60s, it was just like, especially in the 60s and 70s and stuff, uh, all the people used to come home from up north, come down south, they that around the holidays they looked for this cake and i believe they looked up my mama they wanted my mama's lane cake so guys like i said this was this is a lane cake and it was well requested so i'm gonna go right on into the ingredients and explain it to you how i'm going to do this uh cake guys pay close attention to what i'm telling you or uh, either go back and review the video um for the uh, the instructions how to uh, mix it up because you know I do not put the uh, list the ingredients in the um, uh, description area. Uh, now you know some uh, YouTube uh, content provider they do but that's them and this is me. I do not list them simply because I told you guys early on I don't use a computer like that and uh, I don't you know when you got some people don't I got people doing something for them. you don't, for you you don't just have them doing everything and I think if the, I will explain the video to the point if you look at the video like that's the purpose for a, a video rather than a written recipe you can see how to do it just great so guys let's start off with what you're gonna need for this cake and I got a couple of steps that I'm gonna tell you about it and then first of all I'm gonna give you the ingredients for the cake the batter part and then once I get this cake baked off and everything, then I'm in between baking the cake, I'm going to come back and I'm going to let uh, show you the ingredients, the ingredients that you're going to need for the filling. Okay, guys, right here I have uh, three cups of all-purpose, also known as plain flour, three and a half cups. Let me correct that, guys. This is three and a half cups of um, all-purpose flour. And, guys, this is... Um, just two cups of white granulated sugar. Two cups of sugar. And uh, this right here, guys, is four teaspoons of baking powder. Baking powder, guys. Four teaspoons of the baking powder. Okay, guys, and this here is, um, oh, goodness. I'm glad all it was was salt. Three-fourths of a teaspoon of salt. And I may put a little bit more over there. i tell you what I'm going to do because I was going to show you guys this. i take the, um, now you you know there was, this is flour, I'm sifting this flour after I put my salt and my four teaspoon of baking powder in it. I'm going to sift that all, that all together. And let me get it out of my way before I spill it all, which won't be, which is no big deal if I do. And, uh, Guys, this is eight eggs, but these eggs has got to be separated. You go use the white, the white of the eggs, the eight white beaten egg whites for the cake batter part. And then you're gonna save these yolks, the eight yolks, and then I'm gonna add, uh, you got to have 12, put it like this, you got to have 12 yolks for the uh, filling. So, but you're gonna only use eight yolks, I mean eight whites, for the batter. And then guys, I got one cup of milk here. 
one cup of milk and these eggs are at room temperature very important guys and then I have two sticks of um, which is one cup of pure butter one cup of pure butter which is two sticks and it's also at room temperature guys and this milk is uh I've been had this set out it's at room temperature and okay guys this is two teaspoons of vanilla okay let me tell you what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go off and get my mixer. And then I'm going to come back. And uh, not, when I go off to get my mixer, I'm going to separate these eggs. I'm going to separate the eggs white. But I'm not going to beat it at that time. I'm going to beat, start beating it once uh, I get ready to put it in the uh, cake. Because they need the egg whites need beaten to a, to a peak. Uh, not a dry peak. You don't need to beat them too dry because that'll make your cake dry. But uh, I'll show you what it's going to look like because at the end when I finish uh, uh, mixing the cake and everything, I'm going to fold the eggs whites in by hand. Now some of you guys may have mixers and stuff, those fancy mixers that fold stuff in. But I always, when I have egg whites, I always fold them in by hand. And I'll show you how to do that process. Okay guys, like I say, I'm gonna go ahead on out, go ahead on and get my mixer and sift my stuff up and get it ready and come back and start mixing this cake for you. And then um we'll we'll go from there. But guys, uh let me tell you this this other thing. I'm going to be using uh I ain't finished flying out. <laughs> I had started flying, but I didn't finish. I'm gonna be using uh three of the cake pans. Three cake pans, uh, cake rounds. It's probably eight or nine inches. I don't know what it is. I've been having them for years. I know they do not have the size of them in the bottom, but um, on the bottom of them. I'm going to be using that and I got it uh, greased with some Crisco and dusted with some flour. And this cake is going to be baking at 375 for 20 to 25 minutes. But you know you always go to the lesser and check that first. I think it normally uh, make maybe about 21 or 22 minutes. So guys, like I say, let me go off and separate these eggs, get my mixture, and come back and start you on that part, start you uh, mixing the cake. And then I may pop out while the cake is beating, and then come back when I, and show you the folding in process. Okay guys, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I got my mixer out. I already got this here two sticks of room temperature butter in here and I done creamed it some. You can see about see what the what it's looking like. And I just probably creamed it probably just a couple of minutes. And now guys, I'm gonna go ahead on and I just add my sugar to it. I don't add it in increments, I put it on in and that's that. Mix it right there. And, uh, guys, while that's going, I'm going to show you this little handy dandy uh, yolk separator, egg separator. Hold it down. Okay. I got it. Yeah. You know, I got young cooks on my, uh, 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 watching my videos guys and I want to uh, make it real easy for them. It's not hard to separate the eggs if you uh, uh, you know don't have one of these little handy dandy egg separators but you know it's probably I've been had it for years and years and don't use it that often and it's probably the problem cost maybe about a dollar or two and you just crack your egg over in there and your white will run out and the yolk will stay in and you put the yolk in one bowl and let the white stay in the other bowl. And because uh, I have a young cook on here. Hey Destiny. Hey sweetheart. You can try this cake honey. First time I baked this cake, uh helped my step grandmother with this cake. I had to be between twelve and thirteen years old. Like I said, I was I was old enough to help her bake it. But I couldn't eat it. You can't, you know, I, I couldn't eat the cake. But you may be able to help your mom with the cake. Okay, guys, I'm going to, uh, 
do a little spray down. When you have your uh, stuff at room temperature, like this time of year, I just sit mine out overnight. And uh, in the summertime, you know, you probably won't have to let it sit out no more than about three, three hours or whatever, three or four hours before it becomes uh, room temperature. That makes for easy mixing. It don't take much to mix them up like that. Okay, guys, at that at this point, I'm going to go ahead on and add my vanilla in there. And you know, anytime you add uh, liquids to these mixers, you better go back slow. I'm going to throw that, you know, throw stuff everywhere. And then once it gets incorporated in, you can just go ahead on and increase the speed back. Go for it again. You know. I will start adding my flour, which I got the uh, baking powder and the salt sifted in this guy, so I'll forget that. And then I got my room temperature milk over here that I'm going uh, to alternately, alternately be adding. I usually add about a third of the flour. Sometimes I do it in maybe about two to three increments and stuff. Since this is sort of when you, if you have a powerful mixture, you can do it. That you can, you don't have to go through that. You know, not small amount of milk, a little water like you had to use, uh, used to do way back when. But um, I'm gonna show you how I'm going to do that, and then I'm gonna go off. Goodness. Good thing I got more than one, one of those little cups. That one's on the floor. Cup down. Okay, I just you will take my little cup. And your blade's always going to stop in an awkward position and make it hard to get that fly up in there. I'm going to do it just like that. And then uh You got a block or can you see what you're doing? Okay. Just putting the fly over there and then putting some milk. Over now, oh, not that much. Cause remember, guys, uh, we're gonna be putting that boy egg white in here. And I cut my mixer back on slowly. Yes, if you watching, Nana, you see, I'm, if I'm gonna accidentally cut my mixer on high and throw flour everywhere, see it work cause it's on the counter. <laughs> no, it did. That ain't the way she wanna see it. She wanna see it like how Lucia Baldwin turned that big old uh, industrial type mixture on and stole flour everywhere. They couldn't stop it. And everybody, I thought that was funny when I first seen that when I was younger. She did see me one time uh, trying to put a little milk over in it and had it up. Uh, too high. Just a little more of this milk. Where did the flour go? All over the place. Turn it for you. Woo! I'm glad y'all can't see that, guys. Can you see it? Not that can't. Unless you put it down there. The, the, the uh, camera's supposed to be up there on the bowl. It's on the bowl too. Nah, they can't see on that camera. <laughs> Good thing I got on the safer. 
I got flour all over. I just go ahead and take it up. Go ahead on and put the remainder, the remainder of my flour over in here. Cause see, I got to get it beat well to go ahead on and put my uh, to put my egg whites in. Now, guys, what I'm gonna do? You said to do this by hand. We had a little hand uh, beater, and you just put it over in them egg whites. And my, my mama used to have me doing that for, but my uh, step grandmother she had mixers and stuff. But um, I got to uh, beat the egg whites up. See, guys, when you take it step by step and plan it out, stuff like this, what people think is hard. It's not hard. Now that feeling, that's another story. I fold it again there. I knew better than do that. I should have just put my spatula like I normally do. And I uh, spread it out before I put the blade on it. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do is finish baking the, uh, beating this in cake and I'm gonna, and I'm, when I come back on, I'm gonna have my uh, mixture and I'm gonna be doing my egg plates, getting them, getting it ready to put on into the cake guys. I'll be right back. Okay. Back on? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, hold on just a minute. Okay, my cake is, is uh, probably not beat enough, but I'm just beating the egg white, guys. I'm using this mixer, and I'm going to beat them up to a, a soft peak. After when I raise it up, it'll, you know, just slowly go, you know, go back down. So when I get it to that peak, guys, I'll bring it back and then show you how I'm going to fold it into, into the batter. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I got the egg white uh, beaten, and I'm getting ready to add it into the uh, batter. And what I guys, I want to show you how, what uh, uh, stiffness I beat it to. I beat the egg white to. When you put it, when you, uh, can you see what I'm doing, Tuck? Mm -hmm. When you drop it off that spoon, it just forms just a little peak. That's all you need right there. You don't need to over beat it and get it too dry to make your cake dry. And so all I'm going to do now, guys, is uh, this is my batter. It's been beaten all it's supposed to be beat. If you beat your batter two, three minutes or whatever, make sure you don't already be at that. Because once you fold this here, uh, um, egg white in, you're not to be beating it anymore. Not stirring or anything. Because you don't want to deflate it. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start, I'm going to just put about half of it in, guys. And I took my, I'm taking my spatula and then I'm going in and I'm just going to be turning it, turning it over. Can you see what I'm doing? Mm-hmm. Just 
just folding it in. That's what you call folding, guys. Just folding that uh, egg white into this batter. I'm not stirring, just turning it over, turning it over, and bringing it back up, turning it over. That's what you call folding. You don't want to stir when you're doing that. When you're doing this. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go in. I'm just going to go in with the rest of it, guys. You can put it in. Uh. In about three increments, but uh, I just go ahead on it. You normally do two, and I'm gonna keep folding, guys, until you see all that there egg white. You can't see the white that egg white anymore. It's gonna be incorporated into this uh, batter. Do. do you see any more egg white cook? I can't see any from here. <laughs> I think it's well folded in, guys. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get my pans because I don't. I, I think I've shown you guys this before, but I'm not sure. I want to just show you quickly how I put my um, uh, how I do my um, uh, many drum pans off. That was my stove going off, and I know I got to hurry up from work because all this heat up here and over here in this little, little bit of hole, I get sweating. So let me get my pans over. Uh, uh, turn it off for a minute. Tuck. Let me uh, get my pans and everything. Okay, guys, let me move this out, and I'm going to show you just with one of the cups how I uh, kind of I put my uh, batter into my pans to kind of make my layers come out evenly. Now, I have already sprayed this cup and rubbed some on the back and all with just a little cooking, uh, a little cooking spray to kind of help the uh, batter come out evenly. And sometimes it don't, but it helps a little bit. But what I do is just that I get one cup. Keep from making such a mess. I take this little thing and kind of stop the drip. Now I put one cup in there. And take this little spatula. You see, this is a little messy process, so you know I'm just showing y'all. But you do whatever it takes when you don't make that big a mess. And then I do the other one. Now guys, if you're going to do four, four layers, that's what my step-grandmother and uh, my mother used to do. They used to do four layers, but um, you uh, you know, you'll just keep going until your batter run out. And if, because if it get down to a small amount, I get my, um, and then once you uh, keep going this process, one in this one and one in that one. And then you uh, spread it and shake it. I mean, you spread it out. And then you uh, drop it to get the air bubbles out. And then you're ready to put it in the stove. So guys, this probably going to be about three. About three cups, about three and a half cups of batter for each layer. 
but that's 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 all gonna vary and if you don't get it evenly uh you know whatever this is just something that i do that just kind of helps me uh get it even rather than you know i'll just kind of help me to know that i got equal amounts in there but my pans is kind of old and my stove is kind of old so if it don't bake evenly on a I mean one side bake a little higher than the other that is no big deal by the time you get through coming up with that feeling and if people eat it um, it's not going to make no difference okay guys let me uh go ahead on and finish getting this stuff batter into the pans and get them in the oven and start baking and then I'm going to come back and have it set up to show you and get ready to do the filling while the cakes is baking. Okay guys, I'll be right back. Get out my Alright. You ready? I'm going. Okay. okay guys, we're back and let me tell you the ingredients we're going to need for the uh, filling and then I'm going to tell you how I'm going to mix it up and uh, we're going to get started on it and get ready to wrap this cake up. Okay, guys, I already got my uh, layers out the oven and they're over there cooling. It's uh, probably by the time I get finished with this, I'll go over there and turn one of them out and show you uh, what they look like. But they probably been cooled for about five minutes. You just need to let them cool probably about five minutes, guys, once you take them out the oven and then set them on the uh, cooling rack to cool longer while you are fixing your filling. So guys, let me tell you what we're going to need for this filling. And uh, then we're going to move on from there. Okay, guys, you're going to need uh, you're gonna need two cups of sugar. This is your two cups of sugar that I'm holding right there. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a cup and a half of sugar. I usually put two, color, cup, two cups when I want to increase the recipe a little bit but it calls for a cup and a half of sugar. And if you don't use the two cups, it'll be all right. But uh, if you want a little extra filling, uh, you're just gonna use the two cups instead of the cup and a half to ensure you have enough of your filling. Cause you don't want no cake with no, not enough filling, half filling. Okay guys, see, this is eight egg yolks. And you're not eight, this is 12 egg yolks. Remember I had eight egg yolks from the leftover from the batter in the cake and then I had to take four more eggs to put with it to make it 12 egg yolks so you're gonna need four extra eggs from the of uh, what you I mean egg yolks from what you're gonna have left over from your cake batter. okay and guys and this is a uh, two steps two sticks of softened butter and this is uh, two cups of raisin that I have ground up. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the raisins in just a second, guys. And then this is um, two cups of coconut, just regular shredded coconut that you get in the store. And I'll tell you more about that. I, I grind that up. And this is uh, two cans of pecans. Two I, cups. I mean, two cups of pecans. Thank you, Tug. <laughs> and... Uh, then we have, uh, I grind them up, I'll tell you about that. Okay guys, I, I'm using bourbon for this. Some people say just get any kind of bourbon, but my step-grandmother, the one that first taught me to, uh, uh, was showing me how to bake the cake, she always got a pretty decent of uh, bourbon. I used to, I remember her saying that, that she didn't like that cheap stuff in her liquor. You know, you can use bourbon, you can use brandy, and uh, this recipe said rye whiskey. That's something else I want to tell you guys about this here recipe I'm using. This is not the recipe from my grandmother, I mean my step-grandmother or my mother. My mother got one, this, but it's out there in the shed in her belongings. And I didn't, I never did go, I was going to go out there and get it, but it, this is basically the same. And I got this from a friend. And she told me that she always uh, grind her nuts and uh, coconut and raisins up in a in her blender. But I and my my step grandmother she used you know the one of those things like what you uh, grind meat meat up in 
when you're making sausage and all that kind of stuff, they had a smaller blade that came with that little uh, metal apparatus and it was heavy because I used to crank it up and be turning it. But they use that mostly to grind nuts and coconut with. And, uh, but I use this here Nutribullet, guys. And let me tell you something about using this. You have to be careful because when I was trying to pulsate it, just one pulsate, this thing is powerful. Just one puff, base, puss, uh, puff, uh, puff say, had the stuff almost pureed. So, um, but that's okay too. I like the feeling like that. Now, if I you you can just pour this here bourbon over those raisins, but I got them grinded so that they didn't need soaking because the recipe said that you can uh, soak it for. Uh, um, for two hours and overnight if needed. But I grind those up so, you know, it don't it's not gonna make that much a difference. I may not even put all of that bourbon in here. The recipe on the calls for a half a cup. But since I was uh kind of doubling the recipe a little. I didn't double the eggs, but this that this type of stuff I kinda double. And um uh, that's all I need to tell you tell you guys about this. But on another thing, can you kind of switch over here for a minute again? Let me know when you're Go ready. Ahead. Okay, you're going to need to cook this filling in a double baller, baller. And if you don't have a double baller, get you a saucepan that you have. A, and if you have a oven-proof bowl that will fit in that saucepan where it'll be, you know, covered, you can use that as well. That's what I, I've used that. I've used that for a double baller several times simply because I misplaced. This is a new double baller and it's kind of small, but I misplaced the top part of my uh, original double baller when I was moving and everything. But guys, let me tell you what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to go, I'm going to put the, uh, the egg yolks, I mean the butter, the egg yolks, and the sugar in. And I'm going to start it out low, stirring it. I'm going to show you that part. I have it already in the boiler when we get back. And uh, you're going to be just kind of stirring it like the water in the pot simmering for maybe about 15 to 20 minutes till it thickens up. And once it thickens up, that's when we're going to add the uh, nuts, the coconut, and the raisin. So guys, uh, I'll come back and show you when I get this here uh, filling started. But let me show you the cakes over here. The layers on the cakes. Can you uh, switch over for a minute over there? Just for, it's just gonna take just a quick minute if y'all mind. Okay, these are the layers, guys. Sitting over here, all ready to get this here. Uh, uh, this uh, frosting on top of it to get absolutely drunk. Yeah, they cool. This is the reason I like. Uh, can you see it? Mm -hmm. That's the reason I like doing my. Uh, greasing my pans the old fashioned way. Now if them sprays there's nothing in the world wrong with it but they just it always turns out so easy like this. And uh, then after I, uh, I turn them out on this right while I'm making that feeling because that feeling got to cool you know before you do the cake. So guys I'm going to get over here and start making this feeling and I'm going to show you that and then when I let that feeling cool I'm going to come back and show you part of what happened? Came loose. Keep going. Huh? Keep going. Light. Light came okay, guys. So, Tuck having some technical difficulties and stuff. He said, "Tell me to go ahead." So, anyway, I'll meet you guys back over at the stove. Be right back. Okay. Are you on? Huh? Yeah. Okay, guys, I got those uh, 12 egg yolks and um, that uh, cup and a half of sugar, or either two cups of sugar, whichever way you want to use, and the uh, two sticks of butter over here. And uh, I got it in my double boiler, and I got it, you don't, you this, this is something you can't go fast with. And the butter should be softened to when you put the, um, Cause I just always beat my egg yolks up and then put the sugar and stuff in and I get it just keep stirring and stirring until it you know melts down and and uh becomes smooth 
Now guys, when I get this cooked, I'm just going to stir over here for 15 to maybe 20 minutes. So whenever this starts to thicken up, I'm trying to let it get back up to like a simmer because it's hot. And uh, once it starts to thicken, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to remove it from the heat and then I'll put my uh, raisins, my pecans, and my coconuts in it and mix it up real well and then let it cool before I uh, frost the, uh, put the filling on the cake. Now guys, I like uh, some recipes may cause for you to uh, the soak that, uh, soak those raisins and stuff in that bourbon like I said I put it in that bullet and that just really wasn't necessary now I'm getting ready to go ahead on because I think it um, you know I'm going I'm, I'm getting ready to uh, start my timer for 15 minutes did I tell them that I about that salt that I forgot to put in no okay guys I put a half a teaspoon of salt I forgot to tell you a half a teaspoon of salt is part of the ingredients for the filling so I already done put it in, in this here part, with the uh, yolks, the sugar, and the butter. Can you see over in this pot? Uh, oh. A little bit. <laughs> I'm just stirring, guys, until it starts to thicken. And uh, I'll, show the, I'll show you the uh, consistency of the thickening when I get it there. And when it be time to mix the uh, the remaining other ingredients into the uh, filling, and then you're on your way. Well, let's see, I think I can get a little better shot on it. Mm -hmm. Guys, I hope I've showed you how to do this in traditional. I'm, I'm gonna call it a classic Southern uh, lane cake in a way that it would be, um, you know, easy to prepare. Now, a long time ago, like when I was helping my grandmama and uh, my mama, the, oh, what they was going through, you would think that was, you know, just something other. But it was always very festive because, you know, the way you would see uh, family members and friends come and want that cake. And my mama wore the towels when we used to make a piece of Bessie Lane cake. Oh my God. To this day, my mama been dead for almost 20 years, right, Tux? 17, 18 years. She mm -hmm. died in 2004. I run into friends when I go back to my hometown. And uh, everybody called my mama Lydia. They always talking about some of her foods and stuff that uh, they had. And it was always the best. I know when I went on Face, first went on Facebook, and you know, long before I came, not long before, but I started Facebook before I started YouTube. And I would post my cakes and stuff that I baked. And a friend of ours that lives down in uh, Georgia now, and she would be saying how she remember my mama cakes and how many she baked and all of that stuff. Like I would tell you guys, my mama would bake like anywhere from 17 to 20 cakes. So that's really a lot of this stuff would just, those are the example and it's probably just in my blood. She wanted to make sure, you know, everybody had plenty and then she would share with the ones that came over, especially the older ones that really wasn't baking anymore. And sometimes she would even bake cakes and stuff there. But, you know, as they got old and didn't eat as much, she would just, like, slice them up a, a platter or cake with all the ones that she had prepared, and we would take them over to them and stuff like that. Those was the good old days. Don't let nobody fool you guys with this modern stuff or none of these here Hollywood film makers telling you how it used to be. Talk to somebody that done been there. And I know everybody may not have the uh, same experience because I was talking to a, a person that I grew up, kind of grew up with after we left the country. And uh, 
she was maybe about a few years old and her memory was so much different. She was always talking about what they didn't, what we didn't have. And then I finally said it because she was living that far. I finally said it one day. I said, well, we didn't know we didn't have it because I don't even think it was out then, was it? <laughs> she was talking about stuff, talking about all this electronics and all that. I was like, you better might better go to Google and find out when did they make some of this and stuff before you stick with that story. A lot of stuff back then, we didn't know we didn't have it because it hadn't been invented yet. I hadn't made it yet. We got dolls and tea sets. Our brother got um, bicycle wagons and the baby got tricycles and uh, bone arrows and slingshots and piss cap pistols and what else y'all used to get tucker? I used to always want to play with my uh, brothers, little old bitty cowboys and all that, that kind of stuff. And stuff like that. I don't have a bunch of that stuff. You know, when they got up and you got was able to get it for your uh, children, I, they may remember all of that. So guys, let me, I'm not going to let you stay on while I, I do this. Uh, this feeling right now, it's got about nine more minutes and there's no sense in your, you guys staying over here. Now, I was like Tuck was going to get over here and just show you guys what it was looking like in the boiler. You did, what are you looking at? Oh, okay. So I'm going to keep stirring and stirring and uh, till my arm get tired. It, it's not that big a deal, guys, because uh, you got to have your water like on a simmer. You don't, this is something you're not going to cook high. But the water got to be, you know, kind of low boiling in there. If you think it's getting too high or you feel it thickening up at that bottom too quick, just all you got to do is just turn your burner down. So guys, I'll be back when this here is thick enough and uh, I mix the rest of the uh, ingredients in it. Be right back. Okay. Okay, guys, uh, I got my, I've gotten it cut off because I think it's thick enough. Because you know we got to put all that other stuff back in it. So um, one of the ways you can kind of test with the thickness, but you have to realize all this other stuff that you are uh, uh, going to put in going to make it even thicker. But when you uh, drop it from a spoon like this and it kind of mounts up, just make a little mount and not be runny. Can you see that? Back up. Pick it back up. Right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. That sand is thick enough. So all I'm going to do, I said, uh, I'm not going to try to mix that stuff in this bowl, but um, I'm going to go over and put my uh, pecans. That bullet really ground this stuff up real fine, but like I said, that's all right. But you know, you, that thing is kind of powerful. A little pussy, when I was pussing it, it was just really any good. Go ahead on and put all this over there. I forgot to see. Let me sit that back over for the top. Cup the one wanted that a uh, cup of bourbon over in it. <laughs> you see my uh that dish towel I had. That's it over there? Yeah. Where? Keep going. You right over there. Water trip right here? Mm-hmm. Water dripping off the bottom of it. And I'm just going to pull this off it. Once you get it pulled over that gas, and all you got to do is get the bleeding. Get all of that goodness off from up from that guy. Start blending this in together real well. And 
Guys, I got a little uh, cash shop game that I'm playing with y'all in my uh, weekly meal about this cake. And uh, you're going to be seeing the weekly meal. And then you're going to see me baking the cake. You'll see the weekly meal first. And uh, it's going to be fun, guys. I was just thinking about how this, uh, this cake put such fond memories in my mind. And I just thought about that to do it. Oh, hot. Oh, a little more of this uh, bourbon over there. Guys, this right here, the reason they wouldn't let us have this cake. See, most cakes and stuff that you, if you put it in and you cook that whiskey off, you're just going to get the flavor of it. But when you put this whiskey in this filling like this, uh, scrape, oh, uh, you're going to make, you know, you're going you're gonna to feel a little buzz from it. And then on top of that, when they bake it over the holidays, and to keep it moist, they would cut apples up around it, and then they would take a, um, what is it? Some people would take bourbon and, and just kind of pour it up on the top to kind of moisten it. Not much, maybe pour maybe about a fourth a cup, just put it over back on there and let it soak back through. But, uh. I want to make sure I have enough filling. And all I don't use, I'm going to make some cupcakes. Just something I'm going to be trying out. Because like I, everybody keep on me to do a, a cake book. So I'm kind of testing different things. Look at that, guys. Don't that look delicious? Can you see it? Yeah, sure do. Well, that looks good. Make sure you grind your stuff up, guys. You want me to go ahead and put the rest of this in there? This, this is Cat Tuck Braver Cup cake. You want me to put the rest of this bourbon over there? So, sure, I think you need to. You know, when I put that half a cup in there, you be saying there ain't too much bourbon in there. Smells so good. So guys, if you just want to put a half a cup, you can. According to how drunk you want to make the cake. <laughs> if you want the people to feel a little buzz from it, because they don't feel one, you know, with this here, you know, bourbon on, it's not no... It's probably ain't no Honda proof or 80 proof, but. That's all to it, guys. That's your lane cake uh, feeling all day. So what I'm going to do is sit over there and let this frost, I mean cool. And when it cool, I'm going to come back and frost the cake with, for y'all. And that'll be the, the video, I mean, that I promise. All you guys that said to parents was up in your 80s and stuff and wanted me, asked me to do this cake for you. Uh, I'm just so glad to do it for you. And uh, if you do it, and I, and I made it, I think I made it from what this cake had, uh, used to be so in depth, I think I made it pretty easy for you guys. So, uh, and uh, you ain't gonna be able to beat the taste of it now. These cakes are delicious. Like I said, I'm going to let it cool and I'll come back and, uh, and, uh, frost the cake. So I frosted the cake for you guys. And I got about that much, uh, bourbon left on over in there. And I probably put the rest of that in there as it start thinking and I get to the taste and see do we want the rest of that. Be right back. Woo, I'm burning up. Are you back on? I'm on. Okay, guys, uh, it's time to frost this cake and get it over with. And you know, frosting the cake is not one of my better, what you would call it? I, I'd make it do what it do. So first of all, what I'm going to do is just put just a, I always put just a little small amount right up in the, in the center of it. 
And guys, like I said, whatever uh, frosting is left over, I'm going to be uh, experimenting with some uh, uh, cupcakes. Okay, guys. Try to get this here centered on this cake plate. Turn it a little. Okay, now that's the lower side. The way you try to stack a cake, guys, like this here layer right here is kind of lower on that side. When I stack the next side, I'm going to put the high side over there on that. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm going to get this centered up in there. Now, you wouldn't believe how good I was with this when I was younger. Mm hmm Okay. Did that look pretty good at that top? Might have put too much Let's see. Mm. So Looks it. okay to me from here. Okay. And then all we're going to do now, guys, I'm not going to sit here and frost this whole cake in front of y'all because, uh, you know, it gets kind of messy and then it takes me a long time to get this thing straightened out. Well, you may call it a long time. It ain't something I can come in and just zip up and do. And you want to make sure you put a generous amount of filling on your cake. You know, between your layers and just push it on out. Don't be too rough with it, guys, but you don't want to tear your cake up because this cake is pretty moist and I'm surprised me because you don't put that uh you know much above it in it I spread this all the way on out to the end if it come over some that's good it just be less you have to do when you get ready to uh lay that right there and put just a little more up here so I can try to get it filling evenly throughout the cake. Now, Tuck, you help me out if you see that I'm missing something for the guys. All right, I'm watching. How many of you guys can really uh, frost and decorate a cake? That's a special gift when God gives you that gift. I've seen people be so creative have bought cakes like that with, um, you know, decorating and stuff. But if I got a pretty cake, I want it to taste good. And they got something that they put on a cake we had got for Brittany one year. She had wanted it. Uh, this is she been grown. With eight, uh, and that I don't know what they call that stuff. That was really the first time that I had had it to know it. But uh, that frosting, did I come all the way out to the end over there? Behind, over there where you, I can't see? I need me one of them turn tables so I can turn it around. But I want to try to keep the lower side to me so when I put the other one, because I got that pretty good too. Look there in front of you, right in front of the cake. What, right here? Yeah, come on down. I'm going to pull all of it off. You got a bunch of feelers on the plate right there in front. Oh, that's going to, when I get ready to finish doing all that, we're going to put that up sure there. It's going to cover that. We're going to pull it up there. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to make it delicious. How many of you guys like a lot, like the frosting? Make sure you have enough frosting on it. A certain kind of frosting I don't like a lot of, and that's that buttercream. Mmm, like a lot of that. Just wiping some of the crumbs off. And that part right in there, guys, is where I was sitting over talking to you guys and uh, left it in the pan too long. And I ring the. Okay, this, is, this was my lower side, right? So I put this higher side here. I 
Okay, I, you mm -hmm. see that they're, I'm turning the layers upside down, but when I put that top layer on, I'm putting that right side up. Now this is Brittany job. Brittany, where are you? Girl, you know you're supposed to come help your mama out. I'm not doing another cake until you just bite. But this is special cake for my fam. So I go ahead on and do this. Guys, I have baked so many cakes and stuff in my lifetime. If the Lord don't allow me to bake another cake, believe me, I done did enough. They say how much uh, frosting that you put in between layers. That's when I always make extra so I can put enough. I don't want to skimp on it. To me, frosting what makes the cake. You hear some people say, I don't like all that frosting, whatever. Get you a piece of bread. Okay, cup, tuck, how's it looking over there? I'm getting it all the way to the end. Yeah, appear to be. Still got a little bit there. Come on, right in that area. Right here? Mm hmm You got to kind of wrestle with this stuff to stick. And especially when it's not as uh, cool as it should be. Guys, I got a video. Uh, I can't wait to see what y'all say. Brittany gave me this idea when she was home. I talked, you, you'll hear what it's all about in the weekly meal. And the weekly meal is on its way up. Right there in front of you, right there, there's a spot. Right, right here to the, well, like, come I around did this the, way. Oh, I haven't okay. did the sides yet. Okay. All right, I'm going to get all that, I'm going to go. I'm going to go in and, and take my time and do that, and I'm going to be doing a spinning around. I'm just showing them basically how to stack the cake, because they know what, the, mm -hmm. what, they, what that cake is supposed to look like. You know what they may tell you guys all the time? Use your common sense. Now, guys, if I had made this a four layer, this cake would have been too high to fit up under my cake, though. Okay, time for the last uh, layer. Remember what I said, guys. You just put this one on just like it's supposed to be. So, making sure I got it even on here. It's trying to slide a little bit because, like I said, it frosting could have been a little cooler. Now come back this way with it a little bit. Look like you're two foot to the back with it. Come this way? Mm-hmm. How about that? I don't look like you moved it in. I did. Oh, Terry. Okay. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. Did I move it something? Maybe. Okay. Let know you turned it for sure. Huh? Yeah, you turned it, so I'm for sure. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take this one out. Okay, go ahead. Okay. 
then when you put this frosting on the top, you want to get that all, get that out, get that up there all cutesy. And don't bother with that no more. And then that's when you're going to go working on the edges. I used to love to see my mama do this cake, uh, put the icing and frosting on the cake. She would pour this on that landscape and just let it run down so it would be so pretty and smooth on top of there. But this is not a run down feeling, so you got to kind of straighten this out yourself. So guys, you get the gist of what I'm doing. Now I'm going off and I'm going to do this cake up. Come back and show you guys the finished product. Then uh, cut you a slice. Okay guys, I will be right back. Okay. okay guys, this is the finished product of the uh, Classic Southern Lane Cake. Turned out real good, tastes real good. I've been tasting the feeling while I was uh, um, uh, frosting the cake, uh, putting the feeling on the cake, whichever one you want to call it. And uh, yes, 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 it's a little drunk. So uh, this would this would have went over well back in the days, absolutely well. And um. Guys, let me tell you, I want to say thank you to Miss S. I'm not going to call your whole name, but she the one gave me the recipe. The lady that um, presses, my, presses and curls my hair. You know, you guys have been giving me all the comments and stuff on my hair. And uh, I got to go next week because I have really sweated it out. But she really do a good job. And she's old school. She's from back in the day when all I said I needed to, I got to find a, a, a lane cake recipe. And boy, she pulled out the book. She is a sweetheart, a nice lady. I love being in the company of people who love the Lord and respectful towards people and all that. It just, it just give you a warm feeling like back in the days. Y'all, uh, and, and, and the ones of my uh, uh, subscribers that's on here, that was raised up when I was raised up, you know, we probably like 10 years different or less in our age. Uh, those were time of love. The people tried to tell you something different, but it won. And this cake, and let me tell you guys one thing about this cake. Uh, it's about to go out. Mm -hmm. Okay, my, t my husband said this, him, film, this him, uh, camera is about to go out, so I need to stop. But let me tell you one thing. On, I can go? Can quick, you go? quick. It done quick. Quick, go ahead. Oh, okay, it posted the recipe calls for cherries, but you can't find cherry cherries. I mean, the uh, candy cherries is a seasonal thing. So, guys, I'm gonna let this video run on out, and then I'm gonna come back on and cut you guys a slice of this cake. And I have something else to say if you got some more time on the on the camera. But if not, uh, I'll talk to you in the comments, and or maybe I'll, I'll do a a community post. Okay, guys. He gonna cut it. You gonna cut it off. He gonna cut it off, and uh, I come back when he get when he get charged up. I come back and cut a slice. Okay, we're back. Okay, okay, guys. Uh, yeah, my camera uh, cut off. I don't know what. To, I think it's just getting a little old. But we're not gonna worry about that. I'm not gonna let. Uh, you know, I told you I, I don't. I'm not gonna think all this negative stuff. It's but not, we was just the battery was low. Oh, that's what it was. I thought you said we had a full battery. Uh, well, anyway, guys, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to continue to talk uh, about all this excess now. I'm going to do that when we get outside. Out in the, uh, you know, out in the what? What you would call it? Out in the element? But uh, anyway, guys, on the weekly meal, I asked you a question. I had a cash app. Uh, little giveaway I'm going to do with the first person that get the type cake that I was baked. That's, that it was, it's in the week. The slice of cake is in the weekly meal. But um, I'll, I'll probably send something up in the uh, in the community post talking more about it. It was just so much fun when I thought it up and then I was laughing about how I, how I just kind of made that whole mess down there after Christmas with Brittany but she was there to help me out. And uh 
and I did a little cash app. And I said, that's, that's fun. I said, I'd rather do it with the cash app stuff. It don't take so long to uh, do this. So um, I hadn't completely thought of how many I'm going to send. It's just going to be, I'm a, I will, once this video go up, you will know the name of the cake that's on the, um, uh, uh, in that weekly meal. So let me cut you guys a slice of this cake. And uh, I can't help but to say thank you, Miss Joanne, for my uh, nice set. Oh, I'm probably gonna get that rest off. Lay it off. Uh, but uh, I'm about to learn how to slice a cake. I don't know why that's so hard. Some guy told me a, a way to do it, but I was like, mm. once you get that first slice out of the way, you good to go. See, I'm not, she don't know. She don't bit no more what she doing. Yes, I do. I don't want to stay in the powder. See, I'm trying to cut my family a piece of cake. She don't, don't do that acting up. So they go hump to it, guys. Duck gonna eat that. <laughs> there we go, guys. Yep, we are sure we are. You already done seen it. You already done seen this in the weekly meal. Turn this. around. Okay. Which way? I like the feeling coming off that way. I just, I cut a, I call myself cutting a hump. Like when you go in these restaurants and eat, they have you, they give you like a big hunk of cake. And the reason that they do that, because nobody want their cake that slice, which, I mean, that big when they got their own. But the reason that they do that is because they charge you about $3 for that hunk, that slice of cake. So guys, this is $3. a $3. <laughs> How much? <laughs> How much they charge for it? Way more than $3. Okay, let me turn around. It looks like it's about to fall. I did the most in. Well, that's all right. Okay, okay. Cake's over it. Okay, guys. Uh, this is a, a Southern Classic Lane Cake. That is the answer to the cash out uh, little quiz, a little game, or whatever it is that I uh, did. Brittany don't even know I did it yet. <laughs> I can't wait till she see that. She'll be like, what is mama doing? But, uh, if you already haven't subscribed to my channel, guys, please do so. Give me a thumbs up and, uh, like I say, watch it, watch the commercials and stuff. That's what how YouTube, the uh, YouTube can, uh, uh, content providers get our revenue. So, um, this is the cake that I've been promised you guys. And it's ready. It's on there. You can practice it before Christmas. So at Christmas time, you good to go. But it now can the cherry do go in this filling? But I don't have can the cherries in this filling. And uh, uh, the lady that gave me the recipe, she said she always leave hers out. I said, well, I like can the cherries, but um, I couldn't find any. And uh, Publix told me this is a seasonal thing. They don't have it to the, uh, you know, to the uh, uh, around Christmas time. So guys, like I say, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Y'all always want to know how you can support me. May give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Have you ever baked a lane cake? And uh, oh, you, uh, either have you ever had a lane cake? This is a treat. Uh, a, you know, a sweet treat, a sweet treat, and a little what you would call that? A little tipsy. A little tips of treat. <laughs> Cause it, that feeling, like I say, don't give it to your kids, guys. Don't give it to the kids. Because that alcohol is not cooked off in there. And I tell you, from tasting the uh, feeling, mm -hmm, that's what people love with this lane cake. So, okay, guys, remember what I always tell you uh, to think positive, uh, use your common sense, and they may love you guys. Bye. Bye, you Look, guys. I'll be looking for you to see who got who won the uh, cash app. Mm -hmm.
Bye. All right, bye.